How to create pricing table in Stripe. Hello everybody and welcome to our channel. Today you're going to learn how you can create a pricing table in Stripe. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So I have not activated this account but anyways I'm going to be able to show you how you can do it. And here I have a recent search that I have here into my Stripe that is a product catalog and at the end are the pricing tables. But in case you don't have that there, you must click on more and there you're going to be able to manage your products, the product catalog. And there is the option at the end of pricing tables. If you want to make a pricing table, you must create a product here. I've just created this one test, but you can also do it from here, create pricing table because here in products, you can add a new product if you want. By now, I'm just going to make this example with test. So this is going to be, this could be two ways, like a way to show several of your products or just to try to sell a product, but with different options. Like when you try to subscribe to a platform and they include you like several features depending on the plan that you're selecting. That's how you can do it. So there are two ways, other products or different features for one product. So I'm going to just begin with this. This is like the basic plan and I can add another price to it. So let's suppose this is like the standard, add another price, add new price. And there it is. So the standard pricing, the price could be 45 perhaps, but it must uh, be like weekly. No, 45, no, it could be a lot, 50, but per week, okay? And you can just add this price and that's it. There are additional options like the price description. So, and you can add a free trial if you want. So if it's per week, just three days, let's suppose. And that's it. So I can add a price. As you can see, I have two different options, weekly or per month. I'm gonna try to add another price to show you there's the option to just buy this one. So let's suppose this is gonna be for all the year. I don't know what's the exact amount, but let's suppose it's 500. It's more than that, like 600. The set at default price and additional options by description. Just once and it's yours forever. Let's suppose. And that's it. I'm going to add the price. And there it is, weekly, monthly, or just one time, as long as you want. Oh, by the way, you can just add two prices for one product. So if you want to add more prices, you must create a new product. Okay, so I'm going to make the test number two. I'm just going to make the price the same by the month and add the product. Okay. So this is it. I can include another price, add a new price, because here in the beginning we have this menu, standard pricing, we have the graduated pricing. So as much as they buy, this could be like cheaper. So let's suppose one unit is around 50, but if they buy two, this is just going to be 45. Why not? Okay. And this is going to be monthly. Okay, I'm going to add the price. And in another way, there's the option of not standard or graduated, but volume pricing. So let's suppose, yeah, the last on it. So if they buy nine, this is going to be 50. But if they begin to buy 10 or more, this is just going to be 40. Okay, and that's how you can do it. So by now, I just have one product here but as I told you you can add more than one if you want and at the end you have different settings like the language the background color so let's suppose I want to show it like a little black the button color too red in order to incentivate it to buy my product the font also you can change the font the button shape it could be rounded 
a rectangular or like a peel and at the end to highlight a product if you want. This is not working because I just have one product, but when you have several products, this is like a great feature to highlight your product, okay? So once you have done that, you must click on continue and to proceed with the payment page and the confirmation page. So in the payment page, you can allow promotion codes, business customer to provide tax IDs and some other options if you want to add there. You can also in the confirmation page here show the confirmation page or don't show the confirmation page or also replace the default message with the one you want. So I don't know, thanks for being part of my dream, whatever you want. And that's it. This could apply for whatever you want. So these are the settings that I wanted just for the 50 like the standard price but you can add some other options or messages into the other prices and also into the other products test and test number two and once you have done that you must click on continue to allow customers to show product to change product sorry so i'm not gonna allow that and click on finish to have your pricing table and to be able to share these in your websites or with the people that you want to share. And that's it. That's how you can create a pricing table in Stripe. Thanks for watching.